Hey guys, guy from Red Rock Maintenance from Chile, Canada today, eh? It's very cold out there, it's like minus uh, 15 Celsius right now. It's supposed to warm up uh, to like minus eight. So I just uh, gonna head over to my parents quickly. Uh, I did a video earlier on with me uh, trying to fix my bearing on the Ferris blower. But when I filmed it, it was very dark in the garage at my parents, so didn't get a very good video, could hardly see what I was doing. So I'm gonna take my light today and I'm gonna fix the uh, bearing on it. Let me show you quickly. Uh, I got it today, so I'm gonna fix the wheel on it. This bearing was 19 bucks, pretty expensive, but uh, we're gonna go fix it today and I'll show you um, what I'm doing with it. And I may take the uh, one wheel off. I didn't have the right ratchet attachment for my drill to get it off properly. So I may take that wheel off because it keeps going flat now. Uh, when I first bought the mower within a week of using it, I ran over a nail or something. So I patched it up, but uh, it seems to keep losing air. So I'm not sure if there's a tube in that tire or not. So I'm gonna take it off and maybe take it to the shop and see if they can figure it out. So uh, let's head on over there and get that done. Alright you guys, so we're here, um, so here's the caster wheel to fix, uh, as you can see it's really dark in here so got the wheel off of there, so I'm just going to go get the other stuff and then we'll get started. Alright, so as you can see this old bearing is completely trashed, like the metal is completely gone on it, so that's why the wheel is wobbling on me in the fall, oops, so we've got the new one right here. It's gonna fit right on in there. Actually, I'm gonna switch this around so I can do this easier. You can see what I'm, we're doing. So, see, this is the good side right here. So this was actually on back order, so they had to order it for me. Um, All right, so I don't think it's wrong. I think what's happened is the bearing broke right off and the lip here is still in there. So we have to pull that out. Alright, I got it out. So what I did was take the screwdriver and put it down through here and banged it out that way. So that's done. Okay, so it's a very tight spot to work in here. We're gonna see what we can do. Uh, I'm gonna have to jack this back up. I'm gonna have to jack this back up. again. There we go. That looks much better now. go. Alright, so now it's fixed. Should be better for the spring. 
I might try to take this back tire off. I'm gonna make sure I got the right attachment first. Um, but let's see how flat this thing is. So it's, it's not too bad, but it is flat. So. All right, so I have very tight quarters working here, but I'm gonna try to take this tire off now. So I've got the jack over here. See if I can try to push this lawnmower out a bit. Let's get more room. Alright, so that's all good there. I'm going to take the tire out, out of here now and we'll inspect it quickly and see if we can find anything. Alright, so I'm back home. Uh, I'm going to leave my car running for a minute because I need it running to try and pump the tire up. I'm going to just uh, get the pump from the truck. I'm going to try and pump the tire up and then I'm going to try and do the water test on it, see if it still is leaking somewhere. Um, and then yeah, we'll go from there. So let's pump. All right, so we got the tire here. Gonna see if we find any uh, leaks in it. All right, so you can see my camera's glitching out. For some reason, it keeps on freezing on me. Um, so I did end up finding the leak on the tire. I did patch it and fill it. Um, and it is actually staying blowing up now. So I think that's all it was. It was like a very small, uh, like a pinprick hole and it was slow leak. So got that all fixed up now. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can get this camera working better. I don't know if it's the memory card that's glitching out or whatnot, but yeah. So guys, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I got the, uh, both this tire and the caster wheel bearing fixed on it, which I'm happy about that now. So that machine should be all ready to go for the spring. And hopefully there's no more uh, surprises for the springtime. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.